Hello everyone, it's Alexandra, welcome back. Without too much introduction, let's jump right into it. Uh, swaps. So I have uh, previously done um, a swap, but I swapped uh, cards with a few people and I have never done a journal swap. And there is this channel of uh, Nikki Adigan and I have been watching her channel for quite some time. Um, I have seen um, a lot of her amazing works and I decided to write a message to Nikki and suggest to uh, have a journal swap. And I was really worried that she might not agree to do that. And indeed, Nikki, Nikki said that she usually doesn't swap um, and I was really glad to uh, get the positive answer and she agreed to have a swap with me. So I was really excited and uh, Nikki already sent her journal in the mail and I am the one who is a little bit late with uh, sending what I have made for her. Um, so I hope that <laughs> finally, after filming this video, I will be off to the post office and have everything boxed and mailed. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you what I have uh, created for Nikki. I hope she likes it. I don't know what she, what kind of journal she made for me. Uh, the only thing that we agreed upon is the size of the journal and the theme. So we decided to go with the nature theme, of course, because both of us um, like it and enjoy uh, creating journals. Um, nature themed and we also agreed on the size of the journal that it will be um, the uh, half of the uh, letter sized sheet uh, folded okay so I hope that makes sense so this is my journal the journal is inside I also created this little baggie uh, for uh, the journal because I thought well I don't want to put it in a plastic bag or uh, even wrap it in tissue paper. I just wanted to um, have it um, packaged in um, a little bit special way since it's my first journal swap. So here is the uh, string closure bag that I have sewn myself and I have used uh, some uh, Tim Holtz stamps to add um, to add some butterflies and moths. Uh, here in the front and there is a little uh, garment pin with a stamped um, tag on it, some seam binding for the closure and there is a journal there inside. So let me take it out. Here it is. This is how it looks. It's quite a chunky journal although it has only three signatures and you can see how the signatures were uh, bound to the spine. So for the cover I decided to do um, something special. Um, the cover is all made of uh, genuine leather, of the genuine leather pieces um, as you can see that have been all stitched um, together in a a certain pattern. Let me show that to you. This is how it looks once unfolded. And then on the cover, um, since it's quite hard to glue anything to leather, I cross stitched um, these mushrooms. And um, then I layered a piece of muslin behind the um, cross stitching uh, cloth and uh, stitched both of the pieces to the leather cover of the journal just to make it secure and there are some charms here on the garment pin which is attached to another piece of muslin and we have here a little key which I thought was cute to have there uh, another uh, mushroom charm that I painted red and added some um, dots and then covered everything with a coat of clear um, nail polish. That's how the journal looks um, in the front. And I have added just a little bookmark 
in here with a leaf charm. So let's have a look um, at the pages. I think I will uh, do it rather fast because there are lots of pages in there and um, I will just stop uh, maybe on some uh, more interesting ones for a little bit longer just to show um, them to you uh, more closely. Um, okay, so on the front cover I have another um, leather pocket and on a pocket there is a little cluster here and this cute little tag is uh, placed back inside the uh, vellum pocket. There is this kind of pocket in here. I didn't embellish the back but um, I have added um, this cute little tag with a squirrel. Um, this one was a freebie from uh, Louise Heinzel, if I pronounce the uh, last name correctly. I will link her channel down below in the description box. Um, Louise also has lots of um, nice interesting digis, but this specific one was a freebie. And then to a garment pin I added uh, a fabric tag and it's a puffy one. You can't probably see that but it is um, a thick, um, thick tag because between the layers of muslin there is a little piece of um, felt just to give it more dimension. There is a felt leaf which is stitched to the tag and this cute little bead as well. So the tag goes inside the pocket and then the whole pocket goes um, in the pocket on the front cover. Okay, so this is the first signature and as I mentioned there are three signatures in the journal. So this first one has a flip out and on the front of the flip out we have a little card with uh, different images of the flowers and the word card which says leaf. Then here we have a journaling card and this pocket with a bug on it. This is printed on um, acetate. Then here we have a pocket with another card and this one, if I'm not mistaken, was from the tag fabrication kit from um, Tracy Fox and Artie Mays. The background uh, pages of the signatures are the ones from uh, Tim Holtz's Wallflower collection. Here we have another um, photo frame and an image and this one is from Tracy Fox. This one is from Victoria Designs. These are some images from my stash. So I have also tried to stencil on the pages that were not embellished with anything else just to make them less uh, empty. And there are some book pages that I have added too. Here we have a tag pocket with uh, kind of a belt and a little buckle that I have created. And the uh, music pages are from a very old book um, that I have. The book is from 1889 uh, and I really uh, like how the pages are yellow naturally, but they're super fragile so I couldn't use them um, as they are, I couldn't just add them to the um, signature pages of the journal. I had to glue them down to something and use them mostly as backgrounds. And here we have just a journaling card. Okay, so next we have a little circle tag in here and another um, picture in the style of those uh, cabinet cards. some really really thin pages and more of the book pages and this one is um, sort of a handmade paper I guess I bought it in Thailand a while ago and I have added just a faux tea card to this page 
some more book pages with uh, some clusters that I have created and some stamping on plain um, graph paper. Here we have a pocket with a vellum uh, frame and these are, if I'm also not mistaken, are from Paper Craftivity on Etsy. If I don't forget, I will link um, um, Paper Craftivity shop in the description box down below. And in general, everything that I mention, I will do my best to provide the links to the stores. Victoria Designs, Tracy Fox, Artie Mazes, and Paper Paper Craftivity and Louise. Um, so hopefully everything will be listed there. Uh, a corner pocket with a cute little tag, uh, which is stamped, and a card with some mushrooms. Mm, more stenciling. Here we have a washi sticker and some stamping as well. Um, these are some... Uh, photo frames, which are from actually Nikki's uh, Etsy store, and I have um, added a dried flower from my garden to it, and the flowers behind this acetate window. Uh, in the back we have a faux tea card and another uh, card with the uh, this is something in French. I Unfortunately, I don't know French, but it is nature themed, so why not? Okay, so here we have a little charm attached to the page tab. Um, this is a sticker, some lace and stenciling, another nature themed collage and stenciling here. Okay, here we have a flip out uh, envelope, window envelope, and a tag with a flower on it. And it goes back into that pocket. On the back side of the envelope, we have a glassine pocket with a card. This one was from um, Graphics Fairy. Next, we have um, this vellum frame and book page, some more stenciled pages, and this is a stamped image of the leaf on a tiny coffee filter. Then here we have a tiny envelope, which I created using the envelope punch board. And it's really small in size for a purpose because there is this card with mushrooms in it. So we'll put it back with a clip onto the page. Here we have a glassine pocket with a tag. The image of the girl is from Victoria Designs. And this one is from... Um, the digitals that I have created using um, an image from uh, the old design shop. I think it was a freebie and then I just added some uh, flowers from my stash of digital images. Um, here is a field diary a travel notebook that I have created a while ago. I have created a few of those so one of the notebooks is going to Nikki. And I really like how this one looks uh, with the uh, hockey tape there at the top and some stamping using Tim Holtz's stamps. So it goes behind the belly band onto the page. Um, next, we got to the second signature. And between the first and the second signature, I have included this um, sort of a bookmark that I have created a while ago. It has a butterfly on both sides, and I've used I have used some 
uh, metallic wax from uh, Prima. And here are some paper charms and uh, the uh, bronze wing. Okay, so it goes here. On the first page of the second signature, we have a glassine envelope with the um, sticker of the dragonfly. And inside the pocket, we have a tag with a few uh, types of uh, papers layered on it. And this uh, little envelope with a simple tag inside. Okay, that goes back into the pocket. So on this side of the page, we have once again a flip out. And this is a tag with the images from um, Tracy Fox. This is another slide with a bug, which was uh, printed on acetate. Here I have added uh, a clip onto the page. These are from Victoria Designs. Um, the kit that these tags belong to, I think, is called Flowers and Meadows. They go back into the pocket. Here we have another pocket with a layered tag and a few uh, cut-out images from the nature-themed books. Okay, so next we have a couple of unembellished pages. Although they are stenciled, some book pages, another um, tag pocket with a journaling card. And this one again is from Victoria Designs. And these images as well as the uh, tag in the background are from Tracy Fox. A cut out of a bird from a book. Here we have a glassine envelope with a faux uh, tea card with a bird. Here we have a sticker and an image of a ladybug. More of that um, handmade paper that I stenciled on and added a um, um, cluster to the back of that page. Some more book pages and a journaling card. More craft paper. Here we have a city pocket. Um, a mini one and I have added um, some um, digital uh, paper to the front of it then inside we have a tag with the butterflies and these are from Victoria Designs on both sides I glued down that paper I really like how um, this page looks like and here uh, I um, am sending to Nikki one of the little ticket booklets, I don't know how to call it, uh, that I also created a while ago. And these digitals are from a Pink Monarch. I will link on a shop in the description box down below as well. This is the back of that city case um, envelope. So the tag goes back inside and the tickets. And we keep on flipping through the pages. Uh, here I have uh, an envelope. And inside the envelope I have added a um, slide and a journaling card. Okay, then close the envelope like that. And just to reinforce the uh, place um, where the envelope is attached to um, the signatures, I have added um, a strip of muslin and uh, once we get there you will see that there is another envelope which is actually a continuation of this one and uh, they are mirrored reflections of each one so to say. Here we have another tea dye page and a little tag which is just stapled to the page and it is double layered there is a paper layer and an acetate layer with this butterfly added to it. Okay, so here is that second envelope that I have started to show you. 
um, before with another journaling card and a few uh, stamped uh, postage stamps. And these can be just used um, in other journals or projects. Okay. To close this one, I sometimes uh, have to have to use my poking tool and do this. So, Nikki, that's a tip for you. How to do that in case this circle closure doesn't want to go back to its place. So here is the back of the envelope with a bit of collaging there and more pages with uh, stenciling, uh, a little tab on the page in there, more stenciling. Here we have a, a pocket with a tag and this is again uh, some fabric um, hockey tape that I have printed uh, onto um, some images from Victoria Designs. And then I used my sewing machine to stitch that down to the tag. Some more of that handmade paper and some book pages. More of the uh, really thin uh, tissue paper. And this paper, I wish you could feel how smooth and nice it is. It is from a notebook that I have. Uh, some more book pages and painter's paper and some tea dyed pages again. And here we have a pocket tag with a note um, with a journaling card. This one again is from Victoria Designs. And inside the uh, pocket we have two tags with butterflies also from Victoria Designs these images are okay so here I have added a little stopper so that this tag doesn't fall out um, through the uh, belly band that I have added here um, this is the back of the second signature and here we have another double-sided journaling card and uh, an envelope with a string closure and a little specimen um, card in it and this background paper is again from paper creativity okay moving on we have reached the third and the last signature so in the front of the third signature, there is a layered um, collaged, if you want, uh, tag with um, the uh, paper from Tim Holtz in the background. And then uh, some painter's paper and uh, book pages and Tracy's labels and some digital images from uh, my stash and a piece of that printed uh, hockey tape. Here in the back we have a um, glassine pocket with a bit of stenciling and a layered piece of uh, painter's paper and some more digital images in there and a tag. And in some places I have uh, splattered some gold um, acrylic paint uh, to make it look nicer. Here we have just a tuck spot with another journaling card, card that I stitched some bits of lace to. Okay, on this page we have another uh, pocket with a tag. The tag is simple and I have just collaged a little bit on the pocket itself and here I have added a journaling card. Another tea dye page, stenciled page, book page. Here I have an image of this cute little squirrel and I have added a library card uh, behind. More unembellished pages and book pages and handmade paper, stenciled, book pages. Here I have a 
sort of a window pocket with a stamped and then collaged tag with this very special bird. I like how this bird looks. Okay, so the tag goes back in there. Here I have added some stamping. Just didn't want to leave it plain. Here I have a little um, group of um, washi stamp and a little strip of that printed hockey tape and some stamping. Okay, here I have a pocket with a few um, journaling cards with mushrooms. I don't remember the store, the Etsy store where I bought these from, but I will do my best to link the store in the description box down below as well. Okay, here I have added a few butterflies in the center of the signature. And here we have just a faux tea card with a little paper clip and a charm in there. Then here I have added some more um, digis to this page. This is a book page which was rather plain and empty, so I decided to um, add more interest to it. And this is the back with the beautiful image of the um, tree branch, I guess, with some flowers. Okay, some more book pages and tea stained paper and more of the book pages. And here I have a an envelope pocket and I have a tutorial for um, the specific um, element. I will also link it in the description box down below if you want to uh, watch it and uh, see how it was done. This is the tag inside and for the decorative closure here I have used some uh, wax seals from Crestpire. Okay, on the last page of the third signature I have this ruffled uh, belly band and a little uh, notebook again with just some plain um, pages in there and uh, the front is collaged and I have also added those gold splatters. I like how they look. Okay, so that's the back of the journal with uh, the same um, leather pocket and I have added this specimen uh, label. This one is from uh, Graphics Fairy. Inside there is an envelope and inside the envelope I have a card. This one is from Tim Holtz and a few more of the journaling cards with the mushrooms. So that's the envelope. And um, here just to uh, make sure that the journal holds its shape, I added this uh, additional notebook with some plain uh, tea dyed pages. And this is how the front cover looks like. In the back, I have a simple pocket with a tag, and I like this image of the mushrooms. Okay, so that's the journal, and along with the journal, oh, I think the bookmark needs to be here. Along with the journal, I just want to send Nikki um, a few pieces of that leather that I used for uh, creating the cover. So I have added some of them in here. I also um, want to send a few of my favorite um, die cuts that I like to use in my journals like some labels and tabs and uh, corners and some um, um, slides in there. Then I am sending Nikki one of the uh, foldouts that I 
have uh, recently created and I also have a tutorial for um, this fold out because I used some uh, wax seals from Craspire again for uh, creating the closures. So this is the one that will go to Nikki. That's the back. And here if I open that, let me quickly show that to you how it looks on the inside. So it looks like this. It has a few pockets. It has a tag here with uh, again a ladybug and the um, printed piece of uh, muslin with a tag and mushrooms. There's this uh, see-through window on the pocket. I really like how it looks. Uh, and here we have a large pocket with a few more um, tags and cards and labels inside. I hope Nikki can use them in one of her journals maybe or she will want to keep them here just as they are. Okay, on this side we have two pockets as well and I have included more um, slides and these are really tiny. One is a die cut and this one was um, a digital from Tracy Fox. Then I have a little uh, paper piece with a stamp on it. And in this pocket we again have another uh, piece of paper with a stamp and another slide that I have added into the pocket. So that's that. And then um, since it's, you know, winter holidays and Christmas and New Year, um, I don't know when exactly I will be um, posting this video on my channel, but uh, today is um, December 26th. So I will be including this tag to Nikki's package and this was done with one of the uh, digitals from uh, Tracy Fox when Tracy was doing her December daily uh, project with the series of uh, tutorials that she has been posting um, during 24 days. That was huge. <laughs> I don't know how she did that, but the digitals were really nice. They were uh, freebies. I know that Tracy plans to release all the freebies in the special kit, which you will be able to purchase in her Etsy store. I really liked the digitals from um, this day. I think it was the third one. So I have put together this tag for Nikki and I will be sending that to her. So um, that's what I uh, created for her and I really hope she will um, find it inspiring and she will like it and she will uh, want to flip through the pages of this journal uh, maybe a couple times <laughs> just to make sure that she saw all the details. Um, that's all for me for today. I will also be filming a video once I receive a journal from Nikki. I will be posting it on my channel as well. So uh, if you want to um, know what I received from her, uh, please uh, make sure that you uh, follow my channel and just are on the lookout for that video. Um, other than that, I wish everyone a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me today and uh, see you soon. Bye.